The United States and Japan are both fucking participating in the big fucking scam now. Here's their fucking scam now. Here's what they're up to now. Instead of saying, oh, we're over the fucking levels, they're just raising all the fucking levels. Japan protesting today all over. They've raised the levels for children 20 fucking times. The same gig's going on in the U.S. And to all you fucks out there, see, all you guys, there are no safe levels of fucking encouragement, especially when it comes to plutonium. There are no fucking safe levels. The irradiated village of Kawauchi in Fukushima Prefecture says it aims to decontaminate the area, restore lifelines, and bring all residents back by next March. The village and its surrounding areas have been designated as either being inside the 20 kilometer no entry zone around the Fukushima Daiichi plant or the emergency preparation zone. 90% or 2,800 villagers have left the town to date. Mayor Yuko Endo announced the recovery plan at the village assembly in Kodiyama on Tuesday. Our village aims to complete the process of resettling all of its residents by the end of next March. These lying fucking scamming scheming fuckers. And in fucking Japan, my God. I mean, if you have loved ones in fucking Japan, I put up a tag. Watch the CNN documentary that was out. CNBC aired it uh, called Nuclear Meltdown. But this is fucking crazy. Local governments must submit recovery plans as a condition for the central government lifting the emergency evacuation order. The Kawauchi plan calls for thoroughly monitoring underground water for radioactive substances. Decontamination of schools and other areas is to be completed before the end of the year. If the government gives the all clear, the village plans to build temporary housing for the 350 residents who are from the no entry zone. I can't believe and fucking people are fucking just sitting back they're not fucking outraged. However some concerns have already arisen as to how the residents can get back to their previous lives once the emergency order is lifted. I hope everyone will return but I'm concerned about that. Everybody has a home in the village, but young people won't be able to find work. It's beyond. The guy says, well, there'd be anarchy if they told the truth. There'd be a riot in the street. Good! There should be fucking anarchy. What's the matter with you fucking dumb motherfuckers? Japanese police say the number of burglaries in the no-entry zone around the Fukushima Daiichi plant has sharply increased in the six months since the nuclear accident. The National Police Agency says that from March through August, about 720 burglaries were reported in the zone, which extends in a 20-kilometer radius of the plant in Fukushima Prefecture. That figure is about 26 times higher than in the same period last year, when just 27 cases were reported. Police believe some burglars looted deserted houses and shops before the area was declared off-limits, while others have since entered the zone without permission. But in Iwate and Miyagi prefectures north of Fukushima, the number of burglaries during the same period fell from a year ago. Police are stepping up patrols and setting up surveillance cameras along roads leading to the no-entry zone to try to prevent crimes.
notice how weird it starts to get when you just stop breathing? 